Miles Teller is on board now for a new Antoine Fuqua film, the Michael Jackson biopic that's happening over at Lionsgate and Universal. Yep. Now, this comes to us from our friends over at Deadline. Um, we've got Miles joining the cast here in an exclusive Top Gun Maverick and Whiplash star Miles Teller is in talks to join Lionsgate and user Universal Pictures International Antoine Fuqua directed Michael. Sources tell us there's no deal yet for Teller. The movie is currently shooting ahead of an April 18th 2025 theatrical release. Teller, we hear, would play an attorney in the Michael Jackson biopic. Exactly which of Jackson's attorneys, we'll see. So we don't know much about this. We don't know exactly which character he's going to be playing. I personally am always a little wary of news when we don't have a contract fully in place right. because things can change just like that. Not only because of schedules, other films conflicting with this. He's a very sought after actor. He's got a very full workload, but also, I mean, you got to put that pen to paper so everybody can get the money that they want. And again, as a sought after actor, I believe Miles Teller can ask for quite a bit these days. Yep. But talent added to anything I always think is a good idea. Guys, how do you feel about this? Um, the fact that he's playing an attorney, well, would be playing a, or is going to play a, an attorney. I don't know. <laughs> it, <laughs> it, it, it tells us where this by biopic may be going well it definitely is going right in like uh, yeah. of yeah. course like um i you know i love i loved michael jackson you know growing up uh he was a uh, a big part his music was a big part of my life um i, I just i just i i wonder about this biopic how how deep it's gonna get how mm. you know the controversies or anything like that um Especially when the man's not around anymore, you know what I mean? To yeah. actually uh, oversee it or whatever, or, or see the final product. Uh, Miles Teller, we last saw him in Top Gun Maverick. Mm -hmm. I, I've always liked him every time I've seen him on screen. But even yet, I'm still not familiar with him enough to actually uh, put him on my list that of actors that I actually go and go watch. Sure. Um, but from everything I've seen from him, he's he, he's great. You know, he's he's incredible in Whiplash. He's just uh, whip, so yeah. overshadowed because J.K. Simmons is astounding in that. Whiplash and Nightcrawler are my favorite of yeah, that year. Yeah, he's wonderful in and, that. Yeah, but Whiplash was amazing. And, it's of course, great. he was fun in, in Maverick. You he know? was really fun in Maverick. Yeah. I mean, goodness gracious, great balls of fire. Because it does say in the article that uh, he's one of two lawyers. But both of them still dealt with the pedophile accusations and exactly. everything. So we're getting into the weeds with this in Antoine yeah. Fuqua's uh, film. Which is sure. very interesting because, you know, we reported on this months ago that, you know, Jafar Jackson, Michael's nephew, is portraying him in the film. Mm -hmm. So it does lead me to believe that this is going to be made with some, you know, familial understanding and respect. Yeah. But I am interested to see how far we go down this rabbit hole, what what we're going to talk about and what we're going to discuss in this movie, how far we're going to go into that too. Because mm -hmm. um, obviously once Michael Jackson passed, a lot of people felt a different way yeah. about him, his life, some of his controversy, and, and everyone's obviously entitled to have their own opinions on everything too. Um, there's just no denying an incredible, incredible music performer. Right, and then like the the last thing I remember watching about him was that Return in Neverland or what? It, yes. That documentary, that documentary was, I, uh, I felt something afterwards like a little bit. It was kind of like, uh, it kind of made me sad. Mm -hmm. And uh, it was one of those documentaries you watch and it sticks in your head for some reason, especially if you were a fan of Michael Jackson. Um, Antoine Fuqua is uh, gonna direct this. He does. He did the Equalizer movie, I think, the yeah. first one, or at least I think the first one. Um, yep, he's known for Equalizer. He did the yep. third one, Training Day. Uh, uh, he's got a pretty good track record, I, I think. Uh, and uh, I think something like this is gonna be in safe hands. Yeah, put it yes. that way. Yeah, I think so too, guys. So yeah, oh, go yeah. ahead. Oh no, I was gonna. No, no, I, it's okay. Go ahead. Are you sure? Yeah. <laughs> We have something that popped up I want to cover next, but we can we can close this. Oh, okay, great. Yeah, yeah, well, because yeah. I was going to say. Guys, we want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. On average, it takes about 30 days for a person to break their New Year's resolution. So if saving money was on your 2024 list, your odds aren't looking that great. Luckily, I have a 100% guaranteed way to save you money this year. Just switch to Mint Mobile. For a limited time, wireless plans from Mint Mobile are $15 a month when you purchase a three-month plan. That's unlimited talk, text, and and data for 15 bucks a month. I've told you guys many times that after switching to Mint Mobile, I am spending less than a third on my cell bill 
than I used to with a major carrier. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw-dropping monthly bills, and unexpected overages. All Mint plans come with unlimited talk and text, plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. And don't worry about having to change phones or numbers. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all your existing contacts. So guys, to get this new customer offer and your new three-month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bills to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Guys, I want to know what you have to think about this, though. Are you really excited about Miles Teller potentially, because I want to emphasize that, potentially being on board in this film as one of Michael Jackson's attorneys? Do you think this is a smart move? Are you looking forward to this film? And what kind of trajectory do you think it has? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. Hey, guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called The John Campion Show Podcast, available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.